wanted to do something that was going to work really well in what we're being asked in terms of it jumping out of the, the timetables, just looking great. But it also had to represent our work as well as embody something about the, the railway as well, how we feel about it. You see there's a history, isn't there, of artists working with rail companies, railway companies. And um, we used to use this line a lot when we lived in Birmingham and actually we still use it now. Um, and it's a really nice experience being on the Chilton train and um, I think that certain mm, marrying of certain companies with artists you can make really extraordinary work together. It says that Chilton is interested in more than just making money. It says that they are interested in aesthetics. So they're providing something, I hope, that's beautiful for their customers. And they're interested in creativity as well. Um, and um, that, I, I like that. We wanted to find a, just a different way to experience um, that journey, that distance from one place to another, in a way to get to know it in a very different way than how you'd know it when you're sat on the train. It's interesting when you're on a train and you have, you're sat in front of somebody and these things are flashing past. And what is it like to be outside and seeing the train go past? And to know both sides of that, in a way. So it was, I felt it would be a good idea just to walk, uh, make that journey on foot um, by following the line as close as we can follow, you know, on footpaths. So really zigzagging backwards and forwards. I felt the best way to do that would be just to start off, not to plan that journey too much, not to know how long it was going to take, but walk, just to walk station to station. We'd come across um, the line every now and again and we'd get lost quite a lot. So we've got to meet all these really interesting people that live their lives between the stations, um, you know, along the, the journey from Birmingham to London. So when we got to London, is then coming back again. And as you went back along the line, in that very quick journey between London and Birmingham, is then looking out and seeing all these little markers where we a village we might have stayed, somewhere where we had lunch, um, a spot where we'd had our sandwiches, uh, something like that. So it, it, in a way, that's, that, that path now has forever changed for us, we know it in a very different way. And hopefully, what we've got in the, the work that we've produced is, is a series of glimpses or moments, details really, from along the route. Nowadays, so much you spend so much time looking at stuff on the train, screens and stuff, that sort of... Um, you look up and you see this thing, this bit of landscape, you see a person in a field, and then you're back down. And that, that, these, these little moments in this print, really, almost are like that, but taking you outside, you know, freezing that, that moment. Powerful piece of work, often, it might not even hit you straight away. It might be something that you, don't, you see and you don't think about for weeks on end. And maybe it's something you think about while you're washing up, like five months' time. I don't know, like it's a piece of, a really amazing piece of work will work its way inside of you and won't sit quite comfortably because it's there for no more reason than the fact that perhaps it's just a beautiful aesthetic piece. I'd recommend that you, you pick two stations along the route and you get off at one of them and you walk to the other one, you know? Um, Leamington Spa to Banbury, amazing, you know? Beautiful. Just follow a path along the track, you, know, you can't get that lost. It's incredible. And then every time you're going to do that journey again, that's a very different journey for you. Ta-da!